I think the difficulty also lies in the fact that the university is always trying to cover its tracks, always trying to make it seem like everything is clean on the outside and everything is pristine. And it's, it's absurd that a day after 27 students are arrested, campus reopens as if nothing is wrong and there's no scars left on the, on the people of this campus and on the place of this campus. Yeah, we are gathered here with one call, one call of transformation. What comes within transformation in itself when you unpack it? It's a question of inclusivity. Is this institution inclusive enough to accommodate other races? Actually, we went to court and then we came back. We were not violent at all. We are not hooligans. We know what we, are, what we want. So these uh, white Africaners of Africa, they just came to attack us, to provoke us. The problem with them is that they are so arrogant because they think they own this university. They think that we do not belong to this university because we are not Africaners. And they even say this thing that this was, this was an African institution. Even if it was an African institution back then, that doesn't make it right. So when we came back from court, we got inside the gate, we passed too many white students, many African students going to the amphitheater to have a mass meeting. We were going to give feedback to students as to what happened in court. We found Afri Forum waiting for us there. Or for what? We don't know. So the fight started there. I think the difficulty lies in when people don't understand what students are protesting for. So they don't understand that we, we look at the historical context that we live in. We look at the fact that these traditions, these names, um, this institution represents something. Traditions were created with a function. And these things are not analyzed in 2016 in South Africa. These things are not asked what, what was the function it was created for and does it still fulfill that function in 2016 in a multiracial um, institution. We are saying, we are compromising actually by saying that we want African English classes because even English itself is not a South African language. We are compromising. So we are also saying that they must also compromise. Each and every day here, the members of Afri Forum are carrying guns, they are carrying pepper sprays, they are carrying every dangerous weapon to deal with black students in this campus. So people are not safe. How can campus work normally when black students are not safe in this campus? And I think it speaks to the fact that campuses, institutions of higher learning have become increasingly acontextualized and they've become veneers that hide a, a very ugly um, reality underneath it. And the fact that these things are resurfacing is not a reflection necessarily on the generation that is resurfacing it, but on what was suppressed for so long.